Many of you drive by it every day, maybe leaving you to wonder what is up with the former Buffalo Grand Hotel. Now a fire, and it was more than a year ago, forced it to close. And the owner has been in a bitter battle with his insurance company ever since. Well, tonight, Channel 2's Michael Wooten has an exclusive look inside and reports for the first time about new plans for the hotel in this Two on Your Side original. And the elevators are down, so we're going to get some exercise here. Let's do it. With flashlight in hand, 50 to 200 people. Harry Stinson showed us around his sprawling hotel and event center, a 600,000 square foot building sitting on nearly seven acres of prime downtown real estate. The entire space has been empty since a devastating fire 15 months ago. This is where the event happened. He first took us to the Grand Ballroom, where Stinson had a grand design for this unique event space. Somebody had other plans. Someone deliberately set out to light this. Buffalo Fire investigators and the ATF agree it was arson. Whoever started this fire tried to light the carpets on fire, one by one, roll by roll. Didn't work. So the arsonist moved feet away to this area just off the kitchen. The fire was right in here and used an accelerant to get the job done. So it became a huge sponge of this, and they lit that, and boom, away it went. All the aluminum freezers, this was a walk-in coolers, just melted. Boilers, chillers, electrical duct banks, directly above us. Mm. So the fire beneath it obviously inflicted a lot of damage on that. Last July, seven months after the fire, Stinson filed a $50 million insurance claim. We didn't come up with that. We brought in national fire adjusters, they went through the building with the clipboards and a whole team of people with accountants. They brought in third party estimators. Much of the claim is from lost business, an expense that keeps growing. Stinson accuses Travelers Insurance of dragging its feet. That's what we paid for our insurance policy for. We expected that they'd be there for us and we'd get it open. And clearly that, that's gone on a little too long. It doesn't help that there's never been an arrest, and Stinson knows he's the subject of rumors. There are people who think you started the fire here, did you? Well, folks, all I can say is give me some credit. I'm not that stupid. He points out just two months before the fire, he spent a half million bucks buying furniture, 80,000 square feet of unused carpet, and other items from the shuttered Hotel Pennsylvania in New York City, 12 tractor trailers full. And just four hours before the fire from his office in Toronto, he finalized a branding deal with Ramada by Wyndham. I'm no spring chicken, and this is not something I wanted to start all over again. There's absolutely no motive in it. I wish we'd resolve who said it, but it wasn't me, that's for sure. Resolving who said it might help resolve the insurance claim. It's just been infuriating because that has probably been a major reason why the settlement has been delayed. Stinson says he simply can't keep the hotel closed any longer and revealed his new plans exclusively to two on your side. So you're basically approaching this now as a phased reopening. Yes, the intent is the first phase will be the rooms themselves. Though not all of them. Here on the third floor, there was smoke damage from the fire and so all of the soft goods things like mattresses pillows all of that has to go but there wasn't that type of damage on the floors above this so he'll initially open floors four through nine many of the rooms are ready for guests this has been all along the situation is the guest rooms are functional he knows this is bigger than just his business this hotel plays an important role in buffalo's overall hospitality industry because it's so big with hundreds of rooms offline, the city is at risk of losing some conventions. What the city needs is quantity of rooms. And getting three or 400 rooms open quickly will make a big difference. It will make a big difference, and that, that is, we can do that. As frustrating and as expensive as it's going to be, you know, we don't have a choice. We have to get this open. We cannot wait any longer. Between cleanup in public spaces like the lobby, repairing elevators and other work, Stinson guesses it will cost at least $3 million for the initial reopening. This will seat 800 people. Which could also include first level conference and banquet rooms that were spared from serious damage. There's a lot of cleanup but it's doable. He's already talking with investors with a goal to be partially back in business in time for the upcoming summer season. We have to get this place up and running. Then he'll focus on the bigger projects. The long-term plan hasn't been canceled. It's just no. been delayed. Boy, has it been delayed. And this was not in the plan. I did not plan the pandemic. I did not plan this fire. Yeah, but you're still committed. <laughs> so people say I should be committed indeed. <laughs> But I absolutely committed to it. 
I, I can't go back on this. This is not a, oh well, it didn't work out. I gotta see this through. Though some are skeptical he can pull it off, Stinson remains bullish on Buffalo, ready to get the city's largest hotel back in business. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.